Uh, kicks off the start, what should I say? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Project Enfield, it's done. This is the full build. We're very proud about it. Um, so let's get into it, piece by piece. Hi everyone, it's Salt here from Baffle Culture and we are going high-end with our production on this feature. We have got our very own cameraman with us today on the gimbal, so if the shot goes or it goes anywhere, <laughs> you know why. Okay, let's start with the front end. As I said, I've got a highly skilled cameraman today, so we're just going to do a real nice panning shot to the front end. So as I walk, not bad, not bad. And then the the finishing shot is going to be right here by the wheel. Lovely work. Okay, so let's start uh, with the wheel and the tyres. So we opted for the Dunlop K81 T100. Um, I think that's correct. I don't know the sizing, so that will be on the description. Um, actually plays quite a big part in the build. Uh, I'm not a massive one on tyres really. I just normally go on if they look cool and retro, um, which is do. They do actually perform well but I couldn't really tell you too much about that, even though I've been riding it all summer. Um, it does make the bike a bit more beefier, a bit more substance. So the aesthetics of it um, is what I really like about it. A bit retro as well. The rims originally came in silver, which I think is stock. Um, and we were probably um and on a little bit to whether we went and got them powder coated, etc. Um, you know, it's quite a big project in the end, but we did it. We, um, we worked with the wheel specialist in Cardiff, Cambran. Great guys, um, and smash it out of the park, really. I spent a day with them filming all that, which is on our YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, I had to take all the spokes out, et cetera, et cetera. So decent project in the end, but it's the little touches on, these build, on this build that I think makes a difference. So very happy we did it. Um, it looks great. Could probably do with a clean, but hopefully Sam hasn't got too much detail in the shot. So... Um, yeah, hopefully it like blit. <laughs> you do not have to get close up to see it. I haven't cleaned the bike. So um, anyway, that's wheels and tires. And yeah, we do we get? let's just move up. So back, uh, we've got the short fender here. Um, very nice piece. I believe this is the stock bracket. I'm going to go with that. Stock bracket um, looks nice, goes well. Back motorcyclettes, to be precise. Um, do some lovely kit. Uh, they did the Bates headlight. So as you can see, smart front end, all quite small, all shortened up. <laughs> no jokes. So uh, a little bit like Marmite, I suppose, the, what we've decided to go with here because with the flat track bars, which Sam, Sam's just going to do a little backward pan. Oh, that is lovely. Um, you see there is a bit of a gap, I suppose, to the way the flat track bars and the Bates sit. I think this is quite a nice brat tracker look, um, exactly what we wanted to go for. We're not replicating anything. It's not really a restoration or a retro, uh, a re a retro build is what I was going to say. <laughs> um, you know, it's our take on things. We love it. Um, you'll see in a lot of our builds, builds, we go for this base sort of smaller headlight look. Um, it's minimalistic. And I've done some detailed shots where you can see Sid's wiring. So Sam, you do not have to worry about getting those in. Um, but he's done a great job of tidying the front end up. Um, and that will bring us on to the speedo and the handlebar setup. But Maybe we'll cut there and do some like cool shots of the bike out and about and then we'll get into that. No, I've got some notes. Mate, there's so much about this bike, right? There's so many parts. I just don't want to miss anyone out, all right? Because... <laughs> <laughs> wedding speech. <laughs> we are not done with the front end just yet. There is plenty going on here um, and I'll do my best to get through it all. Um, I absolutely love the bars on this bike. This is from Back Motorcycles in France. Um, it's the flat track style. It actually provides a really nice riding position as well. Um, stainless steel, it goes with some of the other parts, but we'll get onto that later, but looks great. Um, also, we've got this small mirror that sits under the throttle. Um, we did want this whole piece to look clean and minimalistic. So that is the vibe we're going for. 
You won't see many cables flying around the place because Sid has wired them through the bar, he's drilled through bolts and all sorts. Um, moving on to Moe Gadget. Um, so they've done some lovely pieces here. These are the Mo switches, plural, because there are two next to each other. Um, again, lovely bit of kit. Um, use this bike mostly in the summer where I'm using thin gloves and I can get, you know, I can use the buttons. I imagine in the winter with some thicker gloves, it might be a bit tricky, but for the riding I do, absolutely fine if I can just remember what the buttons do. Um, we have got the Motoscopia sitting in the middle where the ignition barrel used to be. Um, Sid has done a little bit of fabrication here to make that work, but looks great. Um, you will see um, this uh, Speedo on a couple of our builds if you come to Baffle House, a little plug there. Um, if you have a look around and check out some of the bikes we got, you are going to see this uh, Speedo and, and some other parts because it's a lovely piece of kit. Um, Right, let's move on to, the, um, to the, the grips here from Biltwell. And in order to make this possible, we did have to use a domino um, throttle body here um, because it's got two ca cables coming out the bottom of it. There's probably going to be a technical term for that, like a twin cable throttle body, <laughs> something like that. Um, again, looks great. It's just something we had to do to keep everything working as it should be. So... How does it ride? Um, I believe the technical term is bloody good. Um, it's fantastic. And that is with the help of Nitron. We've got front internals and we've got some rear shocks. Um, I'm not gonna go into the technical terms because I don't know them. All I can tell you is by riding this bike all summer, um, it's given me a bit more confidence on the road. Um, it's a bit more planted at high speeds and you know, being one of the fastest riders in the baffle group. Um, <laughs> It's really helped me keep up, really. Um, now, it's been great. Um, it is quality kit. Probably outperforms me, to be honest, and my riding ability. But from where it was to, uh, at stock to where it is now, um, I feel it's made a big difference, and it's probably a bit more in enjoyable because it gives me confidence in the bike. The cherry on top of the cake is the tank. It's an absolutely beautiful piece, and this was done by Jay and Gary at Valkyrie Paintworks. Um, a little bit about the process. They brushed down the tank to a bare metal and then they painted and worked their magic to get the custom design on the tank to what I was after. Um, I actually really enjoyed the whole process of designing the logo, working with Royal Enfield on it. So to get it implemented as well as they have was huge for us and they've done a great job. They haven't used the transfer and you can't feel any bumps in this at all. This is smooth as a baby's bum. Um, it's, 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 it's beautiful, honestly. And yeah, a massive thanks to them. They were great throughout the whole pre uh, process. Process? So Jay, Gary, thank you very much. It is bloody awesome. <laughs>
um, angle grind the rear frame and then you're able to insert the rear loop into um, the, the frame there, drill it in, bolt it in place. Um, we will not be able to get the, the perfect angle for this, but it's a very smart bit of kit because it does come with the, the, the tail light, it comes with the fender attached. So what can be an expensive and long process, back have made this easy to do at home um, and a lot more cost effective. We did get a little bit carried away with this build um, and we opted to change the, the foot pegs. These are from uh, Tech, Tech Parts. They're black, the quality's great and we are happy that we, we changed them. What's that? Yes, this is an indicator. It is, this is the Mo 10s. It's the new indicator. If we're going to get there, I think we're there. From Motor Gadget. They're tiny, but they're bloody impressive. They're amazing. Um, they're, as you said, very minimalistic, very small, but they pack a punch. Um, I might switch it off just in case it's uh, getting in the, in the camera. But the reason I want to do that as well is because this is a great time to mention Nitron's rear shocks. Um, we went out for the black murdered out look. We didn't want to bring too much attention to it just with the way that the bike looks, but very, very nice quality. Um, and yeah, pleasure to have installed on this bike. Performance wise, we haven't done a great deal to this bike. Um, we do know people are going for the 865 big ball, changing the clutch and all sorts. Sounds quite exciting. Maybe we'll get there. Who knows? Um, so far we have, um, changed the filter uh, with a DNA filter and their mounting bracket. Um, gets more airflow into the bike. That with the back pipes just gives it a, a loud, nice throaty tone. Um, so performance wise, that's all we've really done with it, but very, very simple um, modification, bolt on job to um, add a little bit more fun. Right, so to conclude on what has just been a fantastic project from start to finish, it's fair to say it's been a bolt-on project. Loads of these parts you can do at home and the Interceptor 650 lends itself very well to getting into the custom scene. It's probably one of the more affordable options. Um, yes, we have got carried away. We've gone full motor gadget. Uh, we've had the tank done, we've got nitron sus suspension, so maybe a bolt-on plus if we had to find a technical term. Uh, it's been great fun, we absolutely love it. Um, please drop us a comment below on what you'd do if you had one, what you've done to yours. Please don't mention the seat. We love the black and tan option. It's not hip and the headlight is small, but we've also chosen that. Size doesn't always matter. Um, we'll catch you soon, thank you very much guys. very nicely. So the motoscope here, very small piece. This is actually, <laughs> <laughs> they sort of cut off here and I'm going to do that again. Okay. Um, okay. Let's get on. I was going to say front end, but we've already done that front end. <laughs> Okay.